Sega. Hello there, I'm Bob the Fool, and this is Total War Warhammer 2. So, um, that was a cool cutscene. <laughs> um, so I have not actually played any of the Total War games. So this is going to be I fight for the greater good. Uh, all right, sweet. I'll look at this stuff in a little bit. Um, I'm doing a, I'm going to do a, try to do a campaign though. Now. That being said, I have in fact played uh, a little bit of Warhammer Fantasy, or Age of Sigmar as it's now called. Um, I always had a, I always had an interest in the Lizardmen um, and the Skaven, so that's why I picked this up. Uh, this Lord's campaign cannot be... does not contain any introduction content. Okay. Uh, enable campaign introduction. Okay. Uh... I guess we'll go with the Slan Mage Priest. <laughs> uh, Lord Mazdamandi? Uh, Mazdamandi. Is that the name Slan Priest? I don't know, I remember Lord Croak, who's the like mummy guy. Um, but anyways, uh, I, I know vaguely things uh, about these races, uh, so hopefully it'll be able to do well for me. Uh, I'll keep my difficulty at normal. I don't need to go up or down. Uh, Temple Guard are awesome, in my opinion, from the system. Uh, the Blastodons are pretty good. Ooh, Solar Engines. Solar Engines are neat. Uh, so that's my starting units. I'm gonna guess I also start with, uh, your Sauruses and probably some Skinks. I don't see any Skinks in there, but... Uh, race Abilities, or 
attributes. Let's see here. Uh, settlements are linked by networks. Okay, cool. Uh, periodic missions allow access to powerful blessed thing. Blessed variants of certain units. Okay. Uh, be suitable for every task. Yeah. So the reason why I'm interested in lizard men and the reason why I like lizard men is because they have dinosaurs. And dinosaurs are awesome. So I'm hoping this will be a nice little fun romp. <laughs> Since the days of creation, oh no, the not... reptiles have dominated the jungle continent of Lustria. The ignorant call the creatures lizard men. We call them seraphim now. <laughs> the wise know them as defenders of the world. And with lizard men. The seraphim are In weird. In ages past, the old ones had a plan. They forgot it though. They're but old. then the stellar gates collapsed. The old ones fled, and demons flooded the mortal plane. Led by the slan, the lizard men fought the demons that surged across Lustria. Yet, it was the elves that created the Great Vortex. I don't got anything for that. The They're just elves. The maelstrom that siphoned <laughs> the world of chaos, withering demon kind. The world was saved. But the Vortex endures only because it is bolstered by the power of the Slan, via the Great Warding. If the Warding should fail, the demons will return. The forked tongue of Sotek hangs low in the sky. Now that's the Sigmar meteor. The Slan have felt its now I see it brighter, clearer. Its hiss disturbs the winds of magic. Okay. Look, Targrax, the sacred plaques. One prophecy shines above all others. Vortex of the warm blood. But the full meaning cannot be deciphered. If our master will not wake, we journey to the city of the sun. Okay. I didn't quite catch that. One more time, please. Excuse me, sir. I think you have a frog in your throat. Um, I don't know if you chew. Just kind of swallow that down, please. Uh, Lord, uh, or man, eh, I'm going to have a horrible time pronouncing that word every single time. Uh, Mazd Amandi is now fully roused, and ready to enact his interpretation of the Great Plan. The spawning are uh, the spawnings are gathering at the city of the sun, for he senses a, a disturbance in the galactic webway. Or sorry, geomantic, geomantic web. Uh, not the galactic webway. That's 40k. That's Eldar. Ugh, good. Uh, the geomantic web surrounding Hexatol. His capital. Why did I pick lizard man? 
This game even have names I can pronounce. Uh, communing telepathically with his fellow slime and mesoda uh, mesdamu uh, mesdam mesdamandi mesdamandi learns of the invasion of his jungle by an army of tribal warm bloods. The warm bloods in questions are worshipper the ancient enemy. For um, Do I can't read all that. By this form. Lord Mazdamandi of the second generation. That was Mazdamandi. I bring you knowledge of the old ones. For now is the time to enact the next stage of the great plan. We need to buy ointment. The warm bloods, or Norse as they call themselves, have seen fit to trespass upon your jungles once again. They seek to ransack your sacred temples and carry off the treasure within to distant lands. Hmm. While the solar city itself remains uncompromised, the enemy have rampaged across your wider territory, overrunning several smaller cities near the coast. Though your rapid return brings some welcome additional forces, the situation remains grim. See for yourself. All right, so, uh, Bubba, see for yourself. So, we are, first mission, move over to the camera, all right. Uh, campaign map, main game, theater, blah, blah, blah. Territories on the map are divided into areas. I know it says, doesn't say that, but whatever. Move your camera and in the interest points Your of all kind three have things. often had cause to discipline the skaggy raiders that dwell on the edge of the jungle, but never have they marched against you in such numbers. It would seem that Sotek's comet has incited the lesser races into acts of madness. Curse you, Sigmar. The city of the sun is well defended, enlightened lord. Scars on its outer walls bear witness to the numberless attacks it has repulsed over the millennia. See, not even he's going to try to pronounce that. bloods pour forward in great number. Be in no doubt that your capital is gravely threatened, my lord. Uh, wee. So I want to look around the map. Because I was told something that piqued my interest about who the map hey the vampire coast um so the game is still pretty new right now which is why I only have uh, access to lizardmen skaven and elves and dark elves high elves and dark elves because those are two different things thank you Forgotten Realms, um, but one of the cool things that someone pointed out to me was that uh, the deserts of the Tomb Kings were in this game, which really interests me, because the two ki Tomb Kings are no longer in existence uh, in Age of Sigmar, they're just not a thing. I can change facing? I could spin in circles. What I always wanted. All right, what's over here? The Norskans have overrun a number of your monuments in the jungle interior. These are ancient centers of power, and that power cannot be allowed to remain in the hands of such children as the Skeggy. The Norse warmbloods have advanced too close to your position, revered Lord Mazdamundi. Now is the perfect time to attack. Select your army first. I'm gonna guess Good. that means clicking now, on him. Issue an order to engage the enemy, my lord. They are scattered and not prepared for an attack so soon. Wars. Yes, yeah, serious warriors. Okay. Whee! Battle is upon you, Lord Mazdamandi. The Norse are strong and savage, but your Saurus warriors are surely more deadly still. Blood shall be shed. Okay, pre-battle options. Engage them options. We have battle. We have... That's it. Uh, so, right now we just have the fight battle. Uh, I think this is computer... Uh, run. So that way you don't have to do the actual battle. And this is retreat. 
Yeah. Uh, that's not me, I guess. Uh, the Norse. Yeah. You should be eliminating. Maybe you should be removed from here. Uh, the Norse has maintained a colony on the Lysenko. I'm not going to be able to read all this for generations. Raids against Lizardmen. Temple cities are not uncommon for the golden riches, which then making uh, make for tempting if frequent lethal prizes. Never before the, seen the North men invade in such number, nor have their persistence so deep into, uh, or nor have they penetrated so deep into the lustre in interior. Lord Mes Mesdemundi, the eldest, most warlike of all the remaining slan mage priests, is compelled to act. I got to read that. Hooray! Okay, they're not actually speaking English. Uh, these warm bloods are aligned with the ancient enemy. They must be destroyed. I'm assuming. Uh, when the threat is eradicated, I may contemplate the greater peril. the purge. The scent of warm blood drifts in the air, Lord Master Mundy. The enemy are surely close but unseen. Survey the area yourself. Whee! What's over here? The hills and valleys of this place conceal the enemy's whereabouts, my lord. This hilltop should afford a good view over the surrounding area. Okay. Uh, hills and other terrain can obscure vision, so that's good to know. Okay, I just want to look down a little bit. Can I still rotate? I can still spin! Haha, <laughs> and it's faster now. Your presence on the field inspires those you command, Lord Master Mundy. Under your wise instruction, they advance against the enemy with confidence. Wield your awesome power wisely. Uh, each army is led by a lord who leads and encourages the troops in battle. The lord appears in battle as a single person unit. Otherwise known as HQs, is what I'm probably going to refer to them as. Your fearsome cohorts line up ready for battle, revered lord. They await only your command to advance. Aw, oh, but I like skinks more. Uh, armies are in, uh, subdivided into units. Orders and battles are issued to units, not individual troops. If I remember correctly, this is all done real time, too. The time has come to advance, my lord. First, select your own unit in order to rejoin your forces. Okay. Good. Okay. Now issue a move order towards your army. Whee! The troops are assembled and await your arrival. Go dare. Do, 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 do. Pretend you're Xavier. Excellent. Your place is amongst your warriors, mighty lord. Your very presence encourages them to fight harder. Okay. Oh, I should have read that. The time oh. has come to advance <laughs> your warriors, my lord. Select your whole army so that the order may be given to all. Good. Now order your army forward, my lord. Let us crest this ridge and find where the Advance. enemy lies. Advance! March! Excellent! Your army advance in search of the enemy, my lord. Take this time to practice maneuvering your forces while not under threat of attack. Remember always that orders are issued only to units currently selected. Okay, so you can change how you want them set up, basically. Okay, there we go. The enemy coming to sight, my lord. We have caught them by surprise. Advance quickly before they can retreat. Ah, oh, he has a bone for a hat. Skull hat. Uh, so forward some more. Hurry your fossils into battle. Okay, well, it takes time. They're moving. 
Don't you worry about your heads. Attack, my lord, Master Mundy! Attack! Drive the barbarous warm bloods from your sacred jungles! Take three away. Assign individual targets for each of your units when attacking, my lord. Okay, Keep fine. a wide formation. Do not let your forces be surrounded. Yeah, take out their leader. Why not? One for one. One for one. Ah, some fun. It's one for one. Be sure to keep watch on your warriors in battle, my lord. Their very lives may depend on it. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Uh, mouse over units see health remaining. Well, you can see that right up here where the health remaining is. Or at least how many are remaining in the unit. I will just click OK. <laughs> the enemy lose the will to fight. See how they run from the battle. Press your advantage. Uh, the unit's leader's level is. Uh, yeah, is the measure of will to continue to fight and draw. Uh, the unit will flee the battle when its leader drops to leadership drops too low and will no longer respond to orders. Any faction? Okay. Look, Lord Master Mundy, more Norse invaders advance against you. They come forward in great numbers. Really? Did I just kill you? Move quickly to defend this ridge, my lord. The trees will grant your warriors cover, while the slope will provide them an advantage in combat. Okay. Advance upon the ridge without delay, my lord. That position offers you the best chance of victory against such a number. Order your forces forward, quickly. Yeah. A party of skinks, my lord. Press these allies into your service. Some amongst their number carry javelins to throw. These will prove most useful against the enemy. Okay, so... The reinforcements now fall under your control, my lord. Move the infantry into your front line. The extra bodies are sorely needed. Place your fresh missile troops behind your army. They will fire automatically if the enemy come into range. I'll show you. We'll do them here. We'll do... Can I select these get these guys this way? Yeah. And we want to get them out front. Actually, I want to do just... I don't want him. I want them. Yeah. Come on. Let me arrange this the way I want it. See, so yeah, I want to do them here. I want to do him. Be sure to arrange your infantry in a line for the coming battle, my lord. Each unit should cover the flank of the next. Do not let the enemy attack the sides of your formation or break through to the rear. And yeah, we'll move them up there. Excellent, right. my lord. The ridge is yours. Move your infantry out to block the pass and await the enemy's arrival. Do not be tempted out of position. Okay, so what do we got here? We got... Okay, so these are cudgel guys. So where are the cudgel guys going? Uh, so... Blowpipes are these guys. Cudgels are these guys, so... Come on, dudes, I need you to switch positions. Uh, so you guys. Here. You guys. Here. 
Not you guys. I need you guys out front. I need you guys. Right here. I wish there's a way for me to pause this. So that way I can get my blowpipe guys in the center. Alright, so what does this say? Units will suffer a penalty in leadership. Uh, may so increase casualties of attacking from the sides of rears. Okay, defend the ridge. Yeah, because now we got melee, melee, range. And then we got the melee out front. Now we play the waiting game. Oh, what's this? Target fire at will. Guard mode. Hold their positions. Will not pursue. Skirmish mode. Uh, units will keep a safe distance from the enemy. Skirmish mode can be employed to sh slow an enemy advance. Or just... Okay, so... That's neat. Set formation. Groups. Oh, good god. Groups would be great. Uh, a halt. Target melee. We want to stick with these guys on range, though. Alright, hopefully my two sets of uh, blowpipes will the be advantage. The upon you, my lord. Be sure to make your presence felt in the coming battle. You have many abilities to rally and empower your uh, troops. Now is the time to use Cool. Them. Yeah, slain major priests are called slain mage priests for a reason. So stand your ground. I wanted magic, though. Okay. Uh, duration, so the last 15 seconds affects everyone with range. It's plus melee defense and leadership. Alright. Let's do it. So you guys shooting? Battle has been joined, my lord. Order your forces forward to envelop the enemy where possible. Do not leave troops idle. Alright. I don't know where you guys think you're going. I feel like I'm not getting a super amount of advantage on this, uh, this hill, dude. Mounted reinforcements, my lord. Hurry them into battle, for they are sorely needed. Thank you for giving me these now. I used a minute ago. Go! Actually, go after this branch because they're thicker. I think is what I want to do. Yeah! Yeah! Your reinforcements approach the battle. Have them charge the enemy rear. The impact alone may break their courage to fight. Actually, yeah, if I get here, I can swing these guys around maybe. Are they out of range? Because they're using spears.
In a couple more seconds, I can get my guys to rally. The courage of the Norse trespassers has failed them. They flee for their lives. Okay. Victory is yours, eternal Lord. Hooray! I have done a thing. Okay, so that was an interesting tutorial. <laughs> I don't know who the guy who's giving me all the instructions was, but whatever. At least he spoke English. Uh, the defeated Norse scatter into the jungle. Ice by Talon and Claw like Lord Mazamont. He soon halts the yeah, halts the persault, knowing that in this time the deadly fo jungles will extend their own terrible price on the wounded invaders. <laughs> this can be flee before your awesome bulk, Lord Mazdamundi. It only remains to decide the fate of those captured. Post battle options. You may select a thing to do. So if we release them, um, casualty reinforcement uh, rates minus five percent. We get treasure. Uh, units experience go up by a hundred for all units. Okay, I don't know exactly what that does for me right now. Um, and eat and kill and eat heals the units. So it's money, XP. We'll go with XP. The forces are weary from battle, yet they still retain some strength to march on. See for yourself. The distance your army can still move is shown around it, my lord. Plan your movements wisely, for your armies cannot defend eh. the realm if they are not present I wanna to fight. I want to look down. Fine, whatever. Uh, the colony area is surrounded by a select area. Uh, this is as far... It shows how far you can move. Okay. As one Skeggy force is defeated, so may others be sent to replace it. Move now to block the route to your capital, lest the warm bloods risk another attack. That's probably a good call. Good. Your army now blocks the approach to your capital. Any attack by the enemy will need uh, to get by you zone first. Zone of control. See Armies and settlements. How your forces control the area. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read. Uh, <laughs> Armies and settlements exist in zone of control around them. Enemies cannot pass through the zone of control except to attack the owner. Okay, so this is my little zone of control. Got it. Life oh, there was a thing there I should read. The spawning oh, well. pools revered, Lord. More reptilian servants may be spawned into your service. Breed them now. And they will be ready to fight in the battles to come. Okay. <sighs> uh, additional units can be recruited by selecting an army from the recruitment panel. So select an army. The recruitment button. Uh, javelins. I like the blow darts though. They're ranged. I want some ranged units. Because these, yeah, these guys have ammunition of three. So after three shots, they're stuck in melee. The cudgels are meh. We'll go with... Oh, I gotta recruit three. Okay. So we'll go two cudgel units. And... I guess one more javelin. Because having choices, a little bit of range Lord. is still Be useful aware in that combat. The will take time to train. And that your army must remain stationary while they do so. Okay. Uh, additional units can be recruited through da blah, blah blah. Okay. Well, how do I? This costs treasury. So how do I start another army? You will, of course, be aware that armed forces cost currency to build and maintain. Oh, really? Be sure to keep watch on your finances, lest ruin overtakes you. Okay. Uh, so each faction maintains a treasury, current blah blah blah, that's the o this is the overall income, uh, we have to worry about taxes, trades, raiding, recruiting, okay, so, and then, so, recruiting new guys will drop the income, got it. 
Let us review what destruction the warm-blooded trespassers have wrought on your territory, enlightened lord. Select the temple city to inspect your province. Okay, so this is divided into province. Yes, areas again. The province surrounding your capital is shown here, my lord. A province may contain many cities, each exerting authority over the territory surrounding them. Control the cities, and you control the land. Okay. Cities within the local province are shown here, my lord, along with any facilities they contain. Can I highlight any of these things? Nope, you're not gonna let me highlight any of these things. Okay. I should talk into the mic instead of like to the side of the mic, because then you can't really hear me. But what what that'd be smart. <laughs> she wants to be smart. Um the A kind represents buildings within the settlements of the province. Blah blah blah. So yeah, can I look at these? Because I think these are upgrades. Shown also are those cities in the province that were lost to the enemy. A reminder of the need to reclaim them. Okay, so this entire area this is one area. I lost these two from this area. The owner of each settlement is indicated by the faction icon. Okay. So these this is, must be the Geki capital and the buildings it Symbol. contains are shown here, my lord. Work needs to be done to improve its readiness for war. Okay. Here we may see the state of the province that surrounds your capital. The enemy raids have caused considerable unrest. Public order is suffering, as you can see, my lord. The agitators will need calming in time, but matters of defense are more pressing. Okay, right, so we have a level one population surplus. Uh, we have negative public order, which is horrible, um, especially for cold-blooded lizard men, because that's yeah, I know their thing. Um, and you're not gonna read anything about this, because I don't know. Why would I be helpful? Oh. Uh, the growth of a province is measure of the expansion of its population. Growth leads to population surplus. Which can be spent to upgrade the settlement within it, the province. Uh, supplement income for the rule, rulers, which are taxed in order to raise funds. The more settlements a faction controls, the more money it receives through taxes. Public order is the prevalence is at. Yes, yes, no, 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 you want me to hurry up. Okay, so public order is in a province is a measure of public happiness and re uh, repression and must be kept in check. So is negative good or bad? Uh, corruption. Uh, corruption is a measure of chaos, vampiric, or scaven influences. Um, more corruption, more unrest, and probably the more public order is going to go down. Or generally, your city is the I don't backbone of your state, my lord. Taxes are raised through them, and they provide the infrastructure necessary to support your mm -hmm. armies. I humbly suggest you commission upgrades to your capital as soon as possible. Gee, it's like I was trying to do that for a while. Um, so buildings and construction provinces. All right. So what does this do? This is the one that's being highlighted to. Hey, upgrade me. Uh, so we're on this one, so we have income of 100, uh, ancient plaques, uh, is 1, growth is 10, income from all buildings is 30%, uh, income from all buildings is 15%, from adjacent, uh, grants 2 construction slots, uh, and gives you the geomantic nexus. Uh, province garrison. Okay, so that's what's in the garrison. So what does this get me? Uh, so this gives me upgrades. Because then I can have Saurus Warriors with shields. Um, more money, more population. Uh, you can build four things. 
And the garrison's a little bit better. It looks like. Okay. Good. Construction will begin immediately, but will take some time to complete. Uh, buildings, buildings, construction options within blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Okay, whatever. There is nothing more you can do for now, my lord. Let us await your enemies next move. Okay, so I'm gonna hit end turn, and I'm gonna leave this episode here because I feel like this has been. A fair amount of crap. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do give a bit better of an idea of what I'm doing uh, for the next video. The enemy opt to attack your position, my lord. Ready your forces for battle. And is upon uh, you once we more. will begin that with this combat. Yeah. So, uh, thank you all for watching. You guys have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, sit back, have some tea, you know, stare at, uh, stare at another YouTuber, maybe. I don't know, it's up to you. Uh, but anyways, you guys know what to do. Laters. camera mod oh oh that is that's a good sign right here the fact that you have a better camera mod and this game has not been out for that long Woohoo!